One of the most frequent questions that our distributors ask is how many units are selling for a new product in the retail stores? How many units per day, per week, per month on average? And that information is vital for them because they're going to need to know how many times are they going to have to come back to the store to merchandise the product on the shelf. So if it's a checkout counter item and it's like five hour energy, you know, where they're selling four or five a day, they're going to need to know we're going to need to stock up the store. When we go there, it's going to be a delivery of a case or two. Um, if we go back every month, it's going to be a half pallet. So knowing that information is going to be essential for them for planning and to pique their interest. Because when you're getting started with a newer line, you may not have that kind of data, you, but you're going to want to track it when you first get started. So when you're starting and you put your product in the local Ace Hardware, True Value, what have you, you want to know how many units are selling per day, per week, per month, and keep that spreadsheet active. So whenever you go back in there to restock, notice how many units you're putting back in there. If they're asking for more for behind the counter, or luckily, you know, they're going to want many more because they keep running out. So knowing that information ahead of time is going to be invaluable. When you get started with a Kroger, a Publix, a larger retailer, they're going to have a different system entirely, where they're probably going to be working on the IRI system, where it gives a database and it'll tell you when to restock those stores. And it'll tell you in advance how many units are being sold per day. You get a daily uh, spreadsheet, minute to minute if you want it. But knowing that information is going to be able to allow you to specify what areas of the country you want to target. You know, if you have products in New York, Florida, and California, you're going to want to know where it's going to be selling best because you're going to want to either target the areas where it's not selling well with marketing information, or you're going to want to go to the areas where it is selling well and maybe differentiate yourself in the stores that you're currently selling in. If you're selling in grocery stores, you may want to expand into, for New York, for instance, bodegas, delis, places like that. So knowing that information ahead of time, knowing it actively while you're growing your business is invaluable. But when you get started, track it, maintain that database, and always know what those numbers are when you're having conversations with distributors and with larger retailer buyers.